Changing the exhaust on this Volvo V40 is fairly straightforward if you have the correct tools. This is the non R design version. So um, I think there will be a little bit different if you have the R design version. You just need the correct tools. And personally, I would recommend getting the car a little bit higher up because it's just so hard to get to things under this car it just seems to be very low so of course the front bolts on the exhaust are all rusted out so no point in trying to use a wrench and get them off so just get the angle grinder and grind off the ends there and then uh, it was still stuck in the forward pipe so i used this bolt cruncher thing here to get a good grip on the bolt or stud that was left in the forward exhaust and then we could uh, use a wrench and just pull on it sideways and it fell out and also this pipe here is just so long so then getting the pipe out of the car and also because of how they have rooted it makes it uh, somewhat hard so I actually needed to like slice into the exhaust you can see it on the right side here uh, for it to bend a little bit to be able to angle the exhaust downwards and get it all out If you are on a lift, I guess this won't be a problem and even on these blocks here uh, It still gave me problems, so I need to like cut it up a little bit and then bend it and then the replacement exhaust we can see is not exactly the same as that was fitted into the car which is good for me because I would not be able to get the exhaust back in because of how long it is and since I don't have a lift so uh, but that meant we needed to cut off a little bit on the new exhaust and then also transfer the end from the old exhaust and then use like this extension a clip thing for exhaust to mend them together in the car and we also need to cut off a little bit on the new exhaust because they need to have be mating in a flat surface and also for this adapter to go on uh, it needs to be like a straight area if we were to have left the new one without cutting it up it would be a slight angle to it you will probably see it yourself uh, if you have the exact same parts as I did here and then I just use this um, not grinder but sander uh, to sand the old forward pipe to get that all nice and smooth and then we of course install a new gasket and then we just uh, do everything in reverse and tightening up everything with new bolts and such so it's a fairly straightforward task to do this but I would really advise you to get the car high up to get this exhaust down and you probably need a angle grinder and also getting the correct exhaust is a little bit difficult but as you see in the video here it seems like or I can get a hold of a new exhaust then I would have to buy it from Volvo and it would cost like 10 times as much as I paid for this uh, pipe as I did but yeah thank you for watching I guess and maybe this was a little bit helpful for, for you as well and if there are some unclear or uncertainties just comment down below and I will explain you how I did it and I'm no professional so I do things wrong but it in the end it all worked out